This conference will now be recorded. Okay, um, nobody's here, but let's get start started. Um, this course is uh, for Salesforce courses. Welcome to this. Um, I will later on upload it to YouTube if everybody's fine with that. If uh, anyone comes into the course, I will uh, ask them for sure uh, if, if we may uh, upload it to YouTube. But uh, it's recorded by now anyway, so I think it's going to be fine. Um, if it's uploaded to YouTube, I would be uh, amused if you um, subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you have any question or you want to say something uh, to the course, just uh, don't hesitate to use the comment uh, function of YouTube. Um, you already see my screen, as I can see. And in the screen, uh, you already see a user story. Um, the user story, uh, yeah. I want to um, begin in the user story uh, today. Um, so from user story from scratch to a, um, a, fig, uh, or a final program. Um, I, I have chosen the user story um, um, in, a, in an existing system. So you need some knowledge about the existing system to solve this and to understand um, what to do. <clears throat> and you need to um, yeah, get some knowledge about anything else. But first of all, we need to make sure that everything is fine. So as you can see here, we are in, in the planning uh, phase. In the planning phase, um, yeah, I implemented something like a, a path in, in Salesforce. So uh, I can guide people a little bit better. Uh, by now, it's uh, still in German. Um, but I uh, want to make sure that this is going to be um, yeah, English next time uh, or for another time. Um, just maybe I also will make a video about this, uh, how to change it to um, um, switch between languages. Um, it's not a big deal, actually. Uh, um, the record type must change by this, but it's not covered by this video by now. Um, this video is about switching to trigger off specific time. Um, it is also for the course. Uh, I just have a hint. Uh, which course I have it for, and uh, that's the name. Um, I think uh, the name is already giving a good hint to what, um, yeah, what we have. Um, the short description: yeah, the, uh, As a user of a system, I want the switching tool to switch off only for a specific amount of time, um, so that functionality will work for the most of the time. Yeah. Um, in the background, there, there, there's a trigger system, and I can switch off some triggers uh, with some conditions. And uh, sometimes uh, I forget to switch it back. And so um, it should be possible to limit it later on um, and uh, to, to switch it on again. You know? So let's see how, how, how it works. Yeah? Um, I think we need some acceptance criteria, yeah? and or maybe no, no, no. Um, first of all, I would give you uh, not the acceptance criteria because you don't have uh, too much knowledge about the system. Uh, I give you the, the hints for the system first. Um, the overview for the system: um, first of all, we have some custom settings. Within the custom settings. Um, we have uh, the skip this, the trigger setting. Uh, leave all other settings alone. Uh, in this setting, you only have the active button, and, and there we can say uh, related to the uh, I think it's about user end profile, yeah, user end profile, and we can say relating to the profile or user if the trigger is on or off. Yeah, so that's the basic trigger setting. Yeah. Um, we can say if all triggers uh, are switched on or off for the system administrator or for another user, we can um, yeah switch it on or off for anything uh, for anybody else. Yeah? That is uh, the first custom settings uh, in Salesforce Apex. It is possible to change custom settings via code, so, so via Apex. Um, that is why um, we can switch it back once uh, the trigger uh, has fired. Yeah? Um, it's a little bit tricky uh, because there's no trigger to, to uh, solve this, but um, we can verify it by uh, a batch job, for example. Yeah? Um, 
and uh, as you can see, we need some knowledge and uh, some overview uh, at first to be able to figure out next time uh, what we want to do. So we're going to go for the metadata. The metadata is also for triggers uh, and also just the switching tool. Yeah? Um, keep in mind that um, custom metadata types cannot be changed within Apex code. So um, yeah, and uh, that is why um, we, we need to uh, um, yeah get a workaround or something. Uh, one can have a tool for this. Yeah? Once in a while, they're forgetting the, um, to switch it back. So at least they should get uh, a reminder um, to switch it back um, on a daily basis. So uh, basically, um, we are assuming that the trigger should be switched on. But once in a while, they are switched off, and they should um, get, yeah, um, metadata type double point. Mm, if there are some triggers switched switched off for persons or profiles then we uh, then send a message to them to remind them to recover the trigger setting at least this huh? so they are going to be reminded uh, second of all the custom setting um if a custom setting is switched off switch it on after a specific time mm, yes um there is an overview um of uh, specific specific time trigger we activate like an as object um so that I can choose the time to recover a custom setting and I can choose, um, I can write a, cast, a name of the related custom setting. Uh, yes. I can put the metadata type name so that uh, in so that I can put a field and a field name and its value of the metadata metadata type uh, I can put the metadata type name so that I can put a field name and its value of the metadata type um, that um, the profiles or users of the related type, no, metadata type, will get a reminder to reactivate um, the trigger. A reminder, yes. Um, there is an email template for reminding people of 
reactivation and save. We have five acceptance criteria, it's going to be fine. But uh, let's go on anyway. Yeah? Um, the switching tool um, can be so the switching tool can be in there can be, can be some fields so we already have it in, uh, in cover uh, and so uh, it should be fine by now already so as you can see we have the switching tool itself the switching tool has uh, only about uh, a label and the, the, the switching tool name and uh, this is going to be in, in the code itself that yeah? it is um, you can put it for trigger, so you can also put it in here in trigger, so it's working for the trigger itself. So you can switch on or off triggers, the whole trigger. So uh, the custom setting is for the whole setting itself. The switching tool uh, says it's for the whole trigger. Well, it's a little bit more, I would say. You can switch off triggers itself. That's also possible. Mm, and uh, anything uh, uh, and. Uh, any other tool that has been implemented already. Yeah? It's about the switching tool. Um, here and here you can switch off switching tools relating to profile or user. So then this, uh, this is going to be deactivated or activated for the corresponding user. And also you're going to have the trigger setting itself. Um, basically uh, you can switch it on or off and but by here you can see that uh, by now it's going to be switched off for the metadata. Um, maybe th they don't want. Um, uh, also, they, they can say um, maybe th they don't want um, a reminder. But by now I I want to plan to schedule this, yeah, because uh, my my company was a big by now. And we are only scheduling that they get reminders. Yeah? Okay. I would say you have all the overview you need by now. Um, you should have written a little bit. And by now, um, just to summarize it, we have the one custom setting. The custom setting is for triggers uh, to switch on or off the um, trigger functionality itself. Um, then we have the switching tool to be able to um, determine which tool all in all is switched on or off, or the trigger itself is switched on or off. The user switching tool ready to user or profile, then we can say per user or profile, if the switching tool or the related tool or the related trigger is switched on or off. And also the trigger, we can say relating to um, user or profiles, if the trigger is switched on or off. If you have any question, uh, please put it into the comments and uh, I will ask uh, answer them for sure. Um, if you would yeah, would like to let me in, uh, uh, subscribe, I would be amused, really amused. Okay. Um, now we have the overview. We have the acceptance criteria, as you can see. Mm, I think um, we only need the exception criteria if um, Excluding, sorry, excluding criteria if um, yeah, we would talk to other people. Um, but now it's not necessary. So the usage is also clear for us uh, because uh, I'm not communicating to an, another one. I don't need to put it in by now. Um, if it's once it, it get, it's getting yeah, important, then we go for it. Um, I would say um, I'm going for the DevTini2 environment because we used it last time to develop something. Um, we don't need anything, I think. Let's go to the DevTini2. Um, let's say save. Oh, yeah, we're logging in by now, right? Um, this one I will uh, close by now. Uh, it was for another session. Um, let me close this and um, yeah, we need to verify my okay um by this verification we are getting an sms and the sms we have to put in here right now so now we got an sms and the verification code is fine now we can close this page and also i think uh, we may close this one because we are not going to um, handle um, google stuff 
Website to sandbox. Um, okay, uh, I think we need the sandbox again just to get the corresponding username and so on. So we're gonna go to the sandboxes again. I just forgot about this. Uh, as you can see here, we need to, the website to, to the sandbox. So we are getting just this one, Destiny 2. Um, okay, now it's, we're already logged in. That's why it's not showing the right one. Um, yeah, they are logged out by now. And we just go to Destiny 2. Um, as you can see, we have to log in where you are in here. Just copy this and put it into the other. So the website is going to be this page. The username, uh, we must take this as a username. Just for you to know, this is for uh, a URL. And that is uh, good. The due time, mm, let us say, what our wish is. Sorry, I'm a bit, uh, I have a flu. Um, our wish is to, let me see, switching to a trigger off, blah, blah, blah. Shouldn't take so much time. Um, let's say we ended by July, at the end of July. I have some other priorities, that's why I will put it in here. And the uh, development is dev teeny. Yes, definitely too. Mm, let's save this. Um, let's log in again. And now, as you can see, mm, yeah, we have some other stuff as well. Captain Contabia, who is working on this deadline. Okay. Um, the due date. Okay, it's like this. Okay. The deadline for this a little bit later. Yeah. Um, a little bit later, the deadline. Uh, we, are, we are putting more than one, um, no, more than one date for this. So th that's the estimated uh, date from from the developer. So he doesn't need to put it, but he can put it also to July. Yeah, but he, he is also able to um, post prepone it. Yeah, it's, it's also okay. Um, the customer is going to be internal. That's why we put in intern. We're hitting save. And we are working on like uh, in here. Hit save. It's fine. Um, we need the, the developer console for sure. And also um, an up on change set. Uh, the developer console, as, uh, as you have seen, I have put it in the setup and then I opened it. I will put it into here somewhere. Developer console. Paste it. We're saving it. And now we are able to uh, open up the console right away. That's fine. Also, we need to get the outbound chain set itself. Um, we got to have the number US 0092. Um, please open up. Okay. Mm, the developer console is for developing something. If we need to develop something, maybe we don't need, but let us see. Mm, and we creating the up on change that by now. So we're going to go like this. And we go like US 0092. Okay, I already said, you know, it's the getting a little dark in here, that's why I will, okay. Mm, let's save this. Now we're gonna have the corresponding outbound change set. We are copying this, um, and the outbound change set itself. Let's go to executing actually. Yes, executing, no. Uh, open, yes, it's already open. So let's go to executing because we are going to execute this a little. Um, the outbound change set needs to be put in as well, so that we can have the overview in there. Um, the overview for our metadata that we are changing, we need to put in there. That's why we need the, the outbound change set. And that is what we prepared here. Now everything is uh, prepared very well. And let's go on, I would say. Um, 
So we just uh, we are just able to to yeah switch it to to, to a deck for some um, for someone who who has uh, already or for, for the triggers that already are implemented. Yeah, that, that is what we can do, but we cannot um, do it for any trigger that has not been implemented yet. So. Yes. Okay. And uh, there should get a as I already said, there should get a reminder. Let's get, let's go um, to the acceptance criteria metadata type. If there are some triggers switched off or for persons or profiles, then send a message to the, them to remind them to recover the trigger setting. Um, custom setting. If a custom setting is switched off, switch it on after a specific time. Yeah. Um, and uh, the third one, I would say we begin with the third one because it's the best. Um, there's an overview of specific time trigger reactivate, you know, reactivation maybe, um, as object so that I can choose the time to recover a custom setting and I can write the name of the related custom setting. I can put the metadata type name so that I can put a field name and its value of the metadata type uh, that the profiles or users of the related metadata type will get a reminder to reactivate the trigger. And also there's an email template for reminding people of reactivation. Yeah. Um, let's go for the third one uh, already. So we go for the object manager. We go for like um, create a new op. I would say we're creating a new object for this. Or we um, see um, it's reactivation. It's an overview for something. Let's go for a new object. Um, we are just copying this, nothing else. Because it's a name and the name uh, are not changed. Um, reactivate the resolution. Um, yes. Specific, yeah, let me see. Specific time. Sorry. Um, we just need to put it in. And. Um, is there to remind people that they should reactivate triggers for them? Maybe we should also be able to, to put in an email or something, yeah? but um, by now, let's say, when uh, people have to reactivate triggers for them and to reactivate custom settings automatically. Yeah. Um, they are going to be reactivated automatically by a time. So, yes, I would say that's, that's okay. The, the reports are not allowed yet, search are not allowed yet. But we launched it already. Yeah. We are getting the tab already. Um, but I need to make sure that everything is fine in a really way. Next, next. No, I just want to object mention itself. Mm. Let's say they are just going to be tab hidden for everyone and only for the system administrator is going to be default off. Yeah? Default on would be like, yeah, it's on all the time. So we are going for the specific time. Uh, I just want to make sure that I can change everything I need to change later on. Mm. 
I hope so, actually. Allow search, I can switch on, on or off. Um, let me go for the outbound manager. Add notes and attachments related list. I think this one I cannot add later on, but actually it's not, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Mm, include the app, don't depend this, and then it's say. Um, now we have a, an outbound change that we have created a new object. That is why I need to get the custom object itself. The custom object is called specific something. That's why I will go like specific, add the change set. And maybe it's already the time to uh, be able to put in everything <laughs> that's related to an object, maybe. Um, that would be nice, actually. But any, anyway, it's going to be fine. So I go for the page layout. The page layout is also the specific. Time trigger activate layout. We're gonna add it as well. And we're gonna add the tab as well. Yeah. So we're gonna add the tab like this. Uh, let's scroll this because there are not so many tabs and we're adding this. And also um, the system administrator profile, I think we can push this as well. So we're gonna cancel this, we're gonna add profiles, and we're gonna add the system administrator profile. Okay. Um, we don't have the overview yet, but there's an overview of specific time trigger we activate as object so that I can choose the time. Um, yeah, this is gonna be fine so that I can choose the time to recover. Um, the time to recover, yeah? So that, that, that means, um, Daytime, I would say, or the pre, I would say preferred date time to recover custom setting uh, to recover. Yeah, to recover can be a custom setting or a metadata type. Mm. Here you may, may put the time when it is wished to recover um, a custom setting or to remind, yeah, remind um, people of metadata. Um, that is not required, it can be put, I think. Let me put it to the US uh, where is US 0092. Mm, okay. I think that's gonna be fine. Um now we're gonna have the overview. Uh, because it's with the list view, right? We can get the overview. So I can recover a custom setting and I can write a name of the related custom setting. Okay. Number three is fine. I can put the metadata type so that I can, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the name has already been be able to be put in the name, yeah. So that I can put a field name. That's, that, yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Also, it's also related to the custom setting. Um, so that I can put a real uh, name. Let's get for, go for the text. Field. Mm, field name. Most of it is equal to There is gonna be the name of the field of the custom setting uh, uh, metadata type so that it is, to, uh, okay, it's just one field, right? Um, mm. 
Now, let's just take the inactive ones. Yeah, that's why we are letting it out. Let's just take uh, the inactive ones. And the inactive ones, uh, it's easier. Yeah, just take the inactive ones and uh, set it to, to active or uh, remind them. I think uh, that's much easier in the first place because we never implemented such a tool and we need to get um, experience about this at first. And now uh, we are pairing, okay, we are putting in the field we just created, the preferred date, blah, 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 because we didn't do it yet. Okay, adding this, and then we are going to be fine. So, um, I think this trigger should never be, uh, you, you should never be able to switch off. So we are not including it to, to the tool. And so it's <laughs> doing some stuff all the time, yeah? and, but we need to make sure that uh, it's working all the time for sure. Okay, um, switch trigger. I think it's gonna be fine. Let's take it off. Um, we have to go for something. Okay, now we, we need the corresponding in the template. <clears throat> the email template, email something. Classic email templates. We're going for yeah, the template for the uh, what is that specific time. We are going, uh, what is it called? Unfiled. Uh, let's make, but there's no folder for this for sure. We don't need a folder. Um, let's go for the HTML one. Uh, it's a pretty easy one, so uh, we should do this. Um, we are going like to put the use story itself in the specific something. Actually, we should switch the name of the reactive one to have an abbreviation for this, right? So we go for specific time trigger reactivator. Um, and then we're going to have STTR for an abbreviation. S T T R classic is standard, the email is free, and you're gonna get and next. Um now we, we already have the user story in the, the previous. Mm, yes, we gotta go for STTR. But let's say specific time trigger reactivate. Yeah? Minus next. Um, a good name is good to to be able to find it again. Mm, the meta, the, yeah. Metadata type is still switched off. Please switch it on. Yeah. Um, so for this, I think we need a, a field like a checkbox. If that if this is gonna be switched on or not. Um, value of active fields. Um, which value would have the active field so that the algorithm will fire? Um, it's going to be user story 0092. And we can go next. 
system administrator and save. And I think we also got uh, the, the name of the field. We are just getting one field. I think it's fine. Um, name of active field. Going to be 80 maximum because the name of the fields is maximum 80. No, it's not true. Good, 55, 80. I think 80. Not on there. Um, we will start with the one too. Um, that needs to be required for sure, but not unique as well. Um, which field name field name of field to determine the value of activation one. Next, next, save. Um, by now you have seen that there have been included some other profiles, so we're taking all the other profiles because we have a required field. That's why we're adding all the profiles. Okay, by now, we are good to go, I think. Um, let me ha have a look on my schedule, actually. Mm, yeah, schedule looks good. Okay, now, mm, go directly to the um, record. I think it's going to be fine. We are going directly to the record uh, with a URL, right? So we'll go to next. Copy this. Could be selfless. But what we need to do, <laughs> um, we need to in include a record for sure. Yeah? So it's working on um, this uh, object here. So we need to um, go to the, the record. Yeah? Um, I would say that I would just implement the record ID. Let's just figure out if it's, if it's going to be working. So we are going to the metadata type, opening up the metadata types itself. And uh, we have something like the trigger setting, for example. And we're getting one trigger setting. And we're going to have, OK. Um, I would say this, but I think uh, we can also go like lightning, blah, blah, blah. Or I think even without lightning, paste, enter. Uh, it doesn't matter, no. Uh, it's not finding the corresponding data actually. Let me see lightning. Um, but as you can see, it does not work. But actually, um, we just need to put in a corresponding. Um, URL. Okay. That's why I will say text. No, not a text. Well, just like a URL. Um, it's going to be for user story 002. It's going to be the record URL. Here, the algorithm will put the link to a record so that uh, the record can be called one within uh, an email. Yeah? And Let's go on. I don't think it's on this. No, no, it's not on a reactive. No, 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 no. Uh, no, it's not on, on a reactive or something. Um, maybe we need a, a specific uh, time trigger reactivate 
child, yeah? a specific reactive that child, I would say. Mm. And, and the child or the children, um, I would just have an overview uh, who has got a message. Mm? Yes, I think uh, the overview we just should build, but we, we won't build the tab for this, right? We just would build um, as object. But uh, uh, we don't, we shouldn't forget to fill the upper chain set. So we go to the templates, uh, new template, I would say. And new template will, will, will be filled by this. Image template, uh, how did we call this? Specific, but I know. Um, I think it's fine. Yeah. Let's go add, and we are going to be fine. Okay. I would say that's it by now. Um, I would say um, we are just creating the corresponding. No, we, we are we are stop here because uh, it would take too much time uh, to create a new uh, field or uh, a new. No. A new not a field, uh, a new object for sure. And by now, um, in my opinion, um, we can strike through something. Can put a metadata, blah blah blah. It's already struck through. Um, and save this. Yeah, um, we just talked about uh, the, the the design for today. Uh, also, to, just to switch off the two trigger off specific time uh, time calls. Um, we talked about the user of itself, what it should do, that it should switch off the custom setting if uh, it is. Uh, in the setup, it should send an email to uh, people if they are still in, in a switched off and uh, to remind them. Yeah, if, uh, and then they, they can decide if they need it or not. Yeah? And then um, maybe later on, um, we need a, a possibility to switch it on or off or something, but uh, yeah. Maybe the, the children will be for the reminders itself, and uh, for all the users, they can be not not only the children, but the maybe uh, they are going to be not children, but the items, and uh, the items are just like uh, to switch on or off um, if somebody wants to be reminded or not. Yeah, um, this could be an extension. But by now, we just should begin at something and uh, shouldn't get too complicated. Okay. Um, thanks a lot for your attention uh, and have a good time, I would say. Yeah. And uh, if I have uh, loaded to YouTube, please let me uh, subscribe. And also, if you have any question, leave me a comment. Have a nice day.